Hello everyone, my name is Krishna Rajkonda. In today's uh, video, I would like to show you the how I automated the approval process, uh, multi-user approval process by using a SharePoint uh, uh, customized uh, forms uh, by using Power Apps. Um, and in this process, I did not use Power Automate. Uh, there are a couple of reasons. One thing is, um, uh, the approval action, approval workflow action uh, in the Power Automate, um, it can wait up to only 30 days, but in the, uh, there are some approval process which uh, needs wait time uh, like more than 30 days. So in that case, I need to tweak or I need to provide some workarounds in the Power Automate. So I wanted to avoid Power Automate for this approval process. And the other thing is also in the Power Automate, the history of the process, we can only see up to 30 days. Um, the alternate way is we can write into some SharePoint list uh, for the workflow process history. Uh, we can do that, but I want to avoid, uh, that's the second reason for me to avoid. Uh, so in this process, I would like to show you, um, how, um, I will upload a document and how the document will go through multi-user approval process. In this, the user approval happens in serial passion, I mean serial process, uh, not a parallel approval process. So uh, that's one note, um, we can expand it, uh, we can maybe do it like a multi-user uh, in parallel as well. Um, so let me upload uh, and before I upload the document uh, into this and start the process uh, let me explain you the um, all the metadata columns here so the document unique ID it is a custom unique ID which I'm generating as uh, once I start the process and also the approval status which contains a new uh, start the process uh, start the approval process uh, in progress approved and rejected so those are the five statuses and here the approvers, the document owner or the document controller who runs the process, they will, uh, after they upload it, they will enter all the approval approvers uh, who should approve this document. So we, we put the, um, we need to insert all the approvers here. It can be one person or 10 people. Yeah, we just need to insert that. It is a multi people, uh, multi user, uh, multi um, person or a group field. Uh, and the previous approver, current approver, and next approver, and completed approvers. So all these four are created to track the progress of the approval process. So when the approval process starts, the current uh, you know, approver will be part of the current approver and the next approver, uh, and also previous approver. We can see that while we are mm, going through the process. Uh, the next two things we need to uh, keep in mind um, are uh, max due uh, max task due days here it is a number field I will insert like for example I'll if I put two here each task it gets created uh, it will give two days of time um, for the approver to uh, review the document so it's basically it sets the tasks due date uh, the next one is review instructions for approver so I want to copy the same instructions to every approver so I will I can use this field and the next one process history throughout the process uh, all the actions or the steps that were done uh, by different approvers uh, um, all of that will be captured here and the task email cc this is a um, column uh, the reason i kept this column is uh, this is a person uh, field uh, the reason is like very common complaint from the document approvers uh, saying that oh, okay I did not receive the task email can you please resend it so I want to I mean we can't generate the task emails uh, uh, once it, um, once the email gets generated we can't generate it again and again so we can actually provide a link to the task uh, that's what we can do but um, uh, by providing a user in this one for all the tasks I'm actually uh, that user will be kept in CC so that if any approver misses or uh, complains that I don't I didn't receive it I can find it in my I mean that particular users inbox and we can uh, share it with the actual approver so let's uh, start the approval process and then you will see how I implemented it so let me upload a document here uh, some sample document I'm, I uploaded 
and here um, first thing is uh, if you see the approval status is new and uh, the document unique id it, it did not generate uh, so here i need to uh, enter the metadata so i will click on edit all so i will enter all the metadata so if uh, this list library got so many columns but uh, i customize the library form the new form by using the power apps uh, so this is a sharepoint integrated power app uh, um, basically list form um, so if we see the my i'll enter the title like my sample document and approvers i'll put uh, maybe um, kranti kranti tupakla i'll put uh, uh, reza durani and i'll put krishna Rajkunda. okay i'll put these three people and here max task uh, due date is two i will show you how is it going to impact this number and uh, review instructions for approver uh, i will say please review the document and approve it okay now the main thing uh, for this form is uh, the process will kick off only if i select the start approval process status so by default it will be new now i will select the status as a start approval process and here the task email every task email will keep this person in cc so i'll put my account there so i will put here and then submit once i submit it if you see observe it uh, the document unique id is generated uh, uh, like some prefix and the timestamp and the approval status got changed to in progress and all the approvers we can see here and also i'm putting the first person as the current approver second person as my next approver and uh, if this user uh, finishes the approval process then he will become the previous approver and the next person approver will become the current approver so that's how it is and also if we see the process history here i log the timestamp and also some instructions saying approval process started and task is assigned to uh, the one of first approval so if we uh, and also if we go to the policy task list we'll see a task here and also an email uh, will come uh, momentarily so in the meantime we can uh, open the task from here and uh, edit it so if we see the task from here, uh, from the I can make a dashboard um, on the page saying like okay task assigned to and I can create a web part and I can show them um, create a view uh, and show it on the uh, page of uh, on the SharePoint page. So when the user opens the task for editing, um, then they will see all the information as read only and also they can see a link to the document as well uh, this policy task list uh, it is created all these columns are based on the content type task and also in addition to the uh, columns came from the content type task i added a few more columns one is the document unique id as, uh, as well as second one is the document url uh, this URL is nothing but the URL uh, um, of the document, main document. So when the approver is approving the document, uh, he wants to review the details of the document, what is inside the document. So he wants to open the document. So instead of uh, querying the document library back and forth from the task, I actually embedded within the task itself. So when, I, when the task is getting created, uh, I'm copying the URL of the document as well and here we can click on the document and here uh, this is a pdf file so i can just view the document it opened in in a separate window i mean tab if it is a word document or a powerpoint or excel and if the user has edit permissions actually in the um, office online they can uh, they can edit the document as well and also the task status let me just approve it uh, so i'm approving approved by kranti and submit i'm submitting the document i mean the task 
once the task is completed uh, the this uh, this was successfully completed task and exit you can see immediately the next task is generated and if you see the next task is assigned to reza uh, reza durani and if we go back to the uh, actual uh, policies we can see what is it updated now uh, the task is with the reza durani so uh, if you see the current approver is Re reza durani previous approver was kranti and next approver is my account uh, and also completed approvers you can see the kranti's name there I mean the previous approver and also if we see the process history I wrote the process history like a task assigned to this is completed uh, so that's one thing like this is how like I'm tracking all the progress uh, the next thing is um, I got the email from the power app a power app is sending an email with the task link uh, so I can click on the link uh, this task is assigned to Reza so I will see I will click on the task link so the task link uh, um, again it will have the same user interface uh, all the details are read only and the user can only um, change the uh, task status so again approved by Reza and submit so here I'm after I submit it uh, the task is finished and I can exit so basically uh, it will take back to the policy task list I can redirect the user on the exit uh, that's not a problem so if we see the third task is generated and also if you see the previous task the task complete uh, percentage it is 100% now and also the task status is approved and uh, the third task is now it is created and assigned to me means my account and it is in progress and if we go back to the policy tasks i mean sorry the um, policy i mean the document library then here we can see the previous approver uh, i mean reza Doran is the previous approver current approver is my account and next approver we got only three here so there is no next approver and completed approvers are uh, two of the users so that's how it is uh, and also if we see the uh, process history again the task is uh, assigned to this is completed okay and now we can go back to the uh, task again and open the task and try to finish the task here again it opens up and it is assigned to me i can click on the document I can see the document, approve it, and I'm approving it. Approved uh, by Krishna. Okay, and I'm submitting it. So once the document is, I mean, the task is submitted, I can close it. And if we can come back to the policies here, uh, in a moment, within, I mean, we don't need to refresh because it's modern SharePoint. So the approval process is completed, and the final approval status is approved and the task assigned to Krishna Rajkonda is completed as well this is in the process history so uh, the next one is if you see the previous approver is my my account the last one current approver nothing I mean because we are done with all the approval uh, approvers and the next approver is uh, nobody uh, because there are no other approvers left and if you see the completed approvers it also finished so it just basically the same set of users and also if you see the approval status it is come uh, changed to approved soon after the process is completed and also if we go back to the task all the tasks are completed 100 percent and approved so this is how i implemented the approval process this is in my personal tenant demo uh, but uh, we can really enhance it to the next level sending the reminders based on the due date and second thing uh, also like multiple reminders we can send um, that that can that need that may need to be done from the power automate the reminder emails but the the whole approval process multi-user approval process can be done like this so i hope um, you will like it and if you have any questions please comment uh, uh, under this video okay thank you so much